So Stan, uh, could you walk us through what we're showing folks? Yes, of course. So what we're seeing here is a visualization, a geographic visualization of a very common, uh, well-known botnet. Uh, so what we're doing is helping people understand that there's uh, different phases to the botnet. So a lot of people uh, are more interested maybe sometimes in the uh, malicious activity where the malware is installed. What we're showing people is that there's also the scanning, the recruitment activity that happens. So for example, here we see a representative sample of some devices that are members of this botnet. Um, they're scanning the internet. This is one of the primary ways for the Mirai botnet, for example, to spread. Uh, these devices scan and look for all the vulnerable devices to install malware. So this malware. is a lot of the scanning we see in the weekly internet weather report, right? That's right, Joe. Yeah. Uh, usually we just show you the numbers, but this right. is actually a great way to kind of connect the dots, uh, I guess literally, <laughs> and show you uh, where, where, where they are. Um, so one of the other things we try to do is that, you know, educate that the next step is really try to figure out where is the command and control. Okay. So these IP addresses here are the controllers of the botnet. They are the ones directing uh, where the attack should happen and they kind of, uh, you know, they are the next level of analysis that we can do once we figure out who they're targeting and things like that. And when we do, can figure out who they're targeting, uh, here's an example. Uh, of when an attack is happening. Uh, so uh, malicious IP addresses, the controllers are sending commands to issue DDoS attacks. And these DDoS attacks you can see are happening, for example, uh, against the website there in Asia. One of the things that I think most people don't, don't really know very well is that uh, even though a bot controller might have access to multiple devices that are infected, sometimes they're only using a part of the botnet to do the attack. 